Hey everyone, Rodev here, and in today's video we're going to be learning about twinning UIs and a bit of UDEM too, so let's get right into it. So right here I've prepared an example where if you click it, as you can see it tweens to uh, another position on the screen. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made this, so I'm going to hit stop and I'll show you guys what I did. So right here we have a screen GUI and starter GUI, and this is basically a parent for all of the UI elements. So for example right now we have a button, and basically inside this button we have a UI corner that kind of just shapes the corners for us. We have a shadow, which also has a UI corner, which shapes the uh, corners of the shadow. And the shadow is basically just that frame underneath, it looks like this. And yeah, this text label is the text over there. And this uh, local script right here is basically the script that controls all of the tweening. So I'm going to open it up, and right here, you can copy this if you'd like, but I'm going to explain it, and this is really important, so make sure you pay attention. So right here, we're getting the button, which is a script. So this script right here, dot parent, and the button is the parent. And now we've got it as a variable, so now we have this button right here as a variable in our script. Now we're using an event, so if you've been following along to my beginner scripting series, you will know what an event is and how they work. Now we're just connecting an anonymous function to the event. You also would have learned this in my uh, scripting series, so if you don't know any of this, make sure you go ahead and watch that series and learn about it. The next thing we have right here is we're calling a uh, function or method or... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, but it, we're calling it on the button and we're calling tween position. Now one thing you'd also do is tween size, I'll show you guys that after, but what tween position does is tweens the position. Right here we have these normal brackets, you want to place one right here, and then you wanna, uh, you'll want you also get another one. And then right here you want to type udim2, that's a capital U-N-D, dot new, all of the new is lowercase, two more brackets, and in here you want to paste in a few numbers. So to get these numbers, what you want to do, remember they're going to be different for you, so to get these numbers you want to uh, click on this uh, element that you want to tween, you want to take it and move it to where you want it to end off at. So I want it to end off right here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy the position and then move it back to where it was originally. Go back to the script and paste the position in here. Now I'm just going to get rid of the curly braces. And once I've gotten rid of them, I am pretty much done. And now what happens is we go to the next one, which is enum. Uh, easing direction dot out so basically enum we learned about this in the first or second video it's basically just uh so what i'm saying here is actually just easing direction and i'm getting a list of easing directions it's basically just getting lists of different things so now i'm getting a list of easing directions and i'm going to be choosing out and out basically uh means in reverse and most tweens do look better in reverse so we use out a lot and uh, remember you have a comma right here after the udem 2new after the bracket and remember we don't have a comma after, after the uh, final one. So right here we have another list for easing style, so the style, the style of the tween. For example, if I do something like elastic, the next time we play it you'll see elastic. And right here we have the tween in seconds, so if I do something like one second, the next time we play the tween it'll be only one second. So that's basically all of the, uh, um, well, parameters to tween position. And I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to click the button because we're using an event, and you'll see it move. So as you can see it moves here, and that's because of the elastic uh, tween uh, or easing style right here. And as you can see, I'm just going to let the game load in fully before I click it. It gets flung over to this side in one second and the tween is completed. Now if we use something like tween size, remember we have tween size and position, we have tween size, and we have tween position. I won't be go going over size and position, but I'll be going over size. And if you do want to do size and position and you don't know how to do it, Basically, what we have to do is just take a tween position and a tween size and do them right after each other, and that basically is a tween size and position. So I'm going to do tween size. If you don't know what I mean, basically just do another one of these and instead do tween position, and that's basically uh, tweening the size and the position at the same time. But anyways, uh, right here we're going to be doing tween size. So now if I want the size, it's kind of the same process. I want to go down to the properties, and then I want to grab the size. And once I have the size property right here, by the way, if you don't see Explorer or Properties, you want to go to View and make sure they're both turned on here. And once you have them both, you want to go back to the script and then paste those size numbers in there. Get rid of the curly braces. And I actually didn't resize it before copying them, so I'm going to resize it this time. And I'm going to size it up there. I'm going to copy the size numbers. And then I'm going to put it back. Paste in the size numbers here. Get rid of the curly braces. And once I'm done that, I'm going to leave all of these settings. And then from there, I'm going to hit play. Now that I'm in the game, I'm going to click the button. The event will fire and the tween will play. As you can see, the tween played. And now we can hit stop. And as you can see, that's how tween size also works. 
right here if we set this to something like 5 seconds it might not look good with the elastic tween uh, style but we'll see how it works there you go that's the elastic tween style with 5 seconds still not done there it is now it's done that took about five seconds and yeah so that's basically how udim 2 works that's how uh tweening works tween size and tween position that's how events uh come together to create this whole script that we have right here and yeah other than that guys make sure you like comment and subscribe join the discord and i can help you guys uh, out there if you have any issues but yeah other than that guys make sure you uh, again leave a like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace